G'day, how are you going? I'm Phil from Pico Kit, and uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about the Pico Flow Programmer. So, uh, Pico Flow Programmer is a USB programmer for microchip picks and uh, uses an ICSB uh, communication protocol. And uh, basically, you can make this as a kit for under 20 bucks. And uh, so, it's a, a really good uh, kit that you can make. And uh, basically, you can use it for any of my kits or any of the, your own stuff that you want to make as well. So uh, basically, I'll just show you, it uses a 2.5 millimeter USB cable. It's a four pole, which means it's got four little connections there. And uh, the connections that ICSP have is ground, voltage, data, clock, and programming voltage. So uh, there's five connections, but we've got four on the cable. The one that you don't have is VCC, which is your standard five volt program. Uh, sorry, five volt rail. So um, so it does everything else. It converts five volts on USB up to your 12 volts to get your programming voltage using a little capacitor charge pump. And uh, basically, what it does is it regulates that through uh, the use of an ADC, and uh, then it provides all of the communication protocols to program your microchips. So uh, basically this does all the work, but uh, you need some software to interface it. And so I've created PicoFlow LT. PicoFlow LT basically will just upload a hex file. And so uh, you can create a hex file from um, any other microchip hex file uh, compiling software. So you've got MPLAB, obviously, is uh, your best choice if you know or want to learn ASM, assembly programming, because uh, microchip, that's their programming language. So uh, so that's uh, what I started with, was ASM. And uh, you can step up to C programming. Just be warned that uh, C programming with MPLAB only works on 18F devices. C programming doesn't work on 16F and 12F and 10F uh, or any of those variations. So, uh, but there are other programmers out there, like the high tech, bit expensive. Uh, but there, there are some others there that aren't too expensive uh, for C programming of microchips. And uh, so that's a really good option. Um, but the one that I'm into now is flowchart programming because I'm developing my own soft software called uh, Pico Flow Alpha. And so you can create a program using flowchart icons and you just drag them on and drop them and then you can use that same software as well with the PicoFlow programmer uh, to program whatever project it is you're doing. So uh, so let me talk a little bit about projects. Well some of the stuff we have uh, here at PicoKit, one of our uh, best sellers is the Dice. So uh, Pico Dice is a project, you'll notice it's got the 2.5 millimeter audio socket there for programming. Um, when you turn it on, you have to have power on it so that it can program. Or you can buy this one with a pre-programmed chip anyway, so you don't have to do the programming. But the fun is in the programming, if you ask me. Soldering is the same on any kit, really. If you can solder, you can solder, right? But uh, if you want to have fun, then start learning programming. You know, if you press this button, do you want it to do that? Or do you want it to have sixes all the time? That'd be pretty cool. So uh, so that's a, a popular one. This one also, if you've got a laser cutter, or you go to a school that's got a laser cutter, I uh, don't know if I can show you this one on uh, YouTube, but this is Bart. I've created an image of Bart here. I don't sell Bart, of course, because Bart's not mine to sell, but uh, that's an idea of something you can do. This says Pico Mood is the electronic circuit. And Pico Mood is uh, color changing. So you've got your red, green, and blue LED, ultra bright LEDs down there. And at night time, this looks really awesome. So uh, you can make your own vac form enclosure, all those sorts of things. As a manual arts teacher, I love doing that with my kids in school. So, uh, so that's a good one. That's even cheaper than the dice for the electronics and you make the rest of it yourself. So that's a good one. And uh, we've got Pico Flash. Uh, doesn't have batteries, so I can't show you that one, but it does this little funky display thing and uh, Pico Flash is good to put on the back of a bicycle so uh, people can see at night time. And one good for the front of the bicycle is uh, Pico Bright, so 
Uh, Pico Bright is bright and it has a flicker mode too. So if you're riding along on your bicycle, mount that on your handlebars and uh, it's pretty cool. I'm about to make up, turn something up on the, the lathe and uh, just out of mild steel and uh, give it some knurling and stuff like that, make it look really nice. So that should be a good one uh, as well, which you can program yourself using the Pico Flow Alpha or the Pico Flow LT software. So uh, another one, uh, dual dice here, just like the single dice. Got a uh, timer, timer and stopwatch ones. Uh, I've got a. This is one of my favourites. Is oh, the centre legs come off. Let's see if that works. Is a uh, walking hexapod called Pico Roach. And uh, I've got another one. Let's see if I can get this on camera. This is a line following car, and we'll see if it. There it goes. So call this Pico Tron. That's actually my favourite. I really like this one. I could sit here all day just looking at this one. Go around. It's pretty cool. So um, so yeah, get yourself a programmer. Um, start programming. Uh, get yourself a kit. This is my newest one. Not actually selling it yet unless you go to indiegogo.com and uh, look for Pico Star. Plays musical carols there. Five carols. It's actually motion censored as well, so it'll turn itself off, save power, and walk past it. It'll start up again. So, uh, so that's a good one. Uses two N-size batteries, and uh, that one will be a good Christmas present. I'm also selling those pre-made as well. So, if you don't like soldering, you just like to have a star, then you can buy one of those. First, I think 100 can get it for 25 bucks. Something like that, $26. So uh, so that's a good one. And uh, yeah, also servo motor controllers. I do have one that's a servo motor controller. And uh, this is a pretty popular one actually with people who like doing stuff with planes and cars and that. So uh, oh, looks like I might have a flat battery. Don't know how that happened. But uh, yeah, so that's a servo motor controller that gives you some feedback you can mount a little switch somewhere like on a joystick on a plane or whatever and uh, also it comes with some uh, uh, yeah diode things there <laughs> so that you can use it in like real cars or real planes so uh, so that's a pretty cool thing um, that has the voltage protection of the transient MOSORB or whatever it's called so transient voltage suppressor so uh, Hope you uh, enjoy looking at these kits. Go to picokit.com. Have a look at the stuff there. Software's there. Programmers there. Kits are there. It's all there. And so uh, I've got schematics and all sorts of different resources and that as well that you can look at. So thanks for watching. See you later.